Hey, good morning. What's poppin'? It's your boy, J.D. Comedian. I hope y'all having a good day. Today, I want to talk to y'all about the elders. Right? The elders. Um, I believe, genuinely, that most Jehovah Witnesses are good people. Most of them. You know, they're generally just people that want to ha be happy and live a good life. And they're just, you know, they're just brainwashed and they don't understand exactly what they've gotten themselves into. You know what I'm saying? Or what exactly is at play when it comes to the Jehovah Witness organization? It's generally the rule of thumb for them, you know? So I can kind of see past a lot of the like, little stuff that they do. Like, I don't get too mad at them, you know? But the elders... The elders, uh, I'm not as I'm not as compassionate for them. You know what I mean? Some of them, some of the elders are good people. Some of them, but a nice portion of them, they're not good people. Let me explain why. Let's say that you're a Jehovah's Witness, right? Most of them are born in. You know, you're born in, and your parents teach you that this is the right religion. You get indoctrinated. You get brainwashed. Boom. You're a Jehovah Witness. That's usually how it goes. Now, the, the life of a child Jehovah Witness is usually one of getting bullied at school and getting picked on for being weird and different than the other kids, you know, not being able to celebrate birthday parties and stuff like that. For the most part, a lot of witnesses got bullied, including myself. You know, I got bullied a little bit when I was younger. Um, I started fighting, though. So once I started fighting, the bullying stopped. But it took me a while to fight, you know, probably longer than any other kid. But, um... Yeah, bullying is definitely a part of when you're a young Jehovah Witness. Now, let's say you get a little bit older. In high school, usually, um, you know, things get a little bit better. Now, if you're a Jehovah Witness, the bullying just kind of continues because you're still different and weird and you don't have that many friends by choice. You could have a bunch of friends, but technically, if you're a Jehovah Witness, you're not supposed to be hanging out with anybody who's not a Jehovah Witness. So you're probably not going to have too many friends. And then also, education isn't that, 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 that big as far as the Jehovah Witness organization. So you're probably not going to go to college. And if you don't go to college, uh, you're probably not going to have too many great job choices. And even if you do get a great job, chances are you're not going to really ever be in a position of leadership as far as like a boss or something like that. Because you have to spend so much time and energy putting into the Jehovah Witness organization. That doesn't allow you to be in any position of leadership and authority, you know? Usually, for Jehovah Witnesses that become elders, that's their first taste of true authority and power. And it goes to their head. <laughs> like, for example, there's this one elder uh, at my old Kingdom Hall, and he told my father, remember, I got baptized when I was 12, you know what I mean? He told my father when I was 11, 10 or 11, that if I wasn't baptized, I must be out here selling drugs or game bank. 11 years old. Because I'm like, 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 me getting baptized would stop me from doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, me getting in water would somehow say, oh, oh, I can't sell drugs and game bank no more. I've been in water. I have dipped my head in water. <laughs> like, really? And for some reason, my father believed him. And he told me this. He used to question me, what am I doing? He started going through my stuff. And oh my God, like, it, it was so, it was so crazy. And it was so angry, you know what I mean? And if I'm being honest with you, part of the reason I got baptized, part of the reason was because I wanted to prove him wrong. I'm like, man, I ain't game banging, I ain't doing none of that stuff. And I just, I just got baptized. Horrible reason, I know. Horrible reason. But that's why I did it. And it wasn't because I loved Jehovah, I wanted to prove myself. No, I just, I'm like, hey, let me let me show my father I'm not a gangbanger. <laughs> like, oh my God, I wish I had logic when I was younger. When did I get all this logic? In my 20s? <laughs> 30s, maybe? I don't know. But it, did, uh, it, it didn't make any sense. I got my logic when I left the Jehovah Witness organization. Dead ass. Not even lying. The moment I was able to say, you know what? I'm going to leave because this is stupid. That's when all the logic started going on in my mind. But other than that, like, get back to the subject. Jehovah Witnesses, Jehovah Witness elders in particular, that's the first time they ever get any authority in their life and they and power corrupts. And even though that's not a, even real power, just the power of around everybody in, like, the, 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 
the ability to say, yeah, I'm an elder. You know what I mean? Like that, that's a lot. That's a lot for a person who's been bullied and picked on their entire life. And now they're in a position of power and leadership in the congregation. Oh, it's a lot, man. And they do not handle it well. A lot of them do not handle it well. And um, they don't treat people the way they should. You know, some of them are, a lot of them are good. Okay. Some of them are really good. But there's a lot that ain't. It is a whole lot who will burn your family down and laugh while it happens. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, that's all I had to say today. That's the only thing I was thinking about. Anyway, it's your boy, J.D. Comedian. I hope y'all have